In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, and Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Pentecost marks a fresh start for all of us. Jesus announces the peace that comes with his victory over death. <clears throat> he gives us the Holy Spirit with the power to forgive and conquer sin. Like the apostles, we are strengthened by the Spirit to face the challenges of the world. The Holy Spirit showers us with gifts. Let us use these gifts for the building up of the church, the body of Christ. Brothers and sisters, let us all make ourselves worthy to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we call to mind all our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and earth, on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, O Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who willed that the Paschal mystery to be encompassed as a sign of 50 days, grant that from out of the scattered nations, the confusion of many tongues may be gathered by the heavenly grace into one great confession of your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Luke describes the descent of the Holy Spirit in tongues as a fire which rests on the apostles and fill them with courage to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Pentecost marks the birth of the church in the new people of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people? who are speaking Galileans, then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans 
and Arabs. Yet, we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. The spirit is the bond of unity. His varied gifts should lead not to division, but to unity and peace in our community. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts by the same Spirit. There are different forms of service by the same Lord. There are different workings by the same God who produces all of them and everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As the body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all store, come within our bosom shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, so lays in the midst of woo. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours and our inmost being fill where you are not we have not nothing good indeed or thought nothing free from taint or ill heal our wounds our strength renew in our dryness pour your dew wash the stains of guilt away bend the stubborn heart and will melt the frozen warm the chill Guide the steps that go astray on the faithful who adore and confess you. Evermore in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtues, sure reward. Give them your salvation. Lord, give them joys that never end. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kingdom them the far of your love. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the apostles were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. And Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Something very interesting in the Gospel that we have read today, and that is after Jesus uh, spoke and told the disciples that when he appeared to them from behind closed doors, he said to them, Peace be with you, twice, two times. And then what very important thing that Jesus did to the disciples present you know, uh, during his appearance after the resurrection was that he breathed on them. Ano bang ibig sabihin nito? Hiningahan sila ng Panginoon. And after he breathed them, he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. So ano bang ibig sabihin nitong paghinga ng Diyos no, sa kanyang mga alagad? And that gives us no, a recollection of how God actually created man. No? Nung nilikha ng Diyos ang tao, no? nung nilikha niya si Adan at si Eva, ang unang tao, no? ang unang mga magulang natin, no? from the piece of soil, no? from a lump of soil, no? God also breathed on that soil. So sa lahat ng nilikha ng Diyos, ito lang no, ang kanyang nilikha na mayroong bahagi na nagmula sa kanya. No? At uh, ang mga ibang mga nilikha no, ay naganap o nag, uh, nag, nag-exist no? sa pamangitan naman ng salita ng Diyos. No? Let there be light and there was light. Let there be vegetations and there were vegetations. There will be all kinds of animals and there were animals. And then on that very sixth day, Jesus, ay God, created man and woman. No? And from that piece of soil, God breathed on them. And we say, God created us in His image and likeness. So marahil nagtataka tayo, o marahil hanggang ngayon na hindi natin nauunawaan, ano nga ba ang wangis ng Diyos? What is the face of God? What is the image of God? And Jesus made that very clear. Jesus was the, invi- the, the visible no? and the concrete image of God who is invisible. God who is a pure spirit. And in Jesus, no, God became visible for all of us. Tangible. Nahawakan natin, nakakausap natin, nakikita natin. Sumalit, ang pagkatawang tao ba ng, ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng kanyang anak na si Jesus? Ito ba ang wangis ng Diyos? Is this the image of God? No, not yet. Because Jesus, God Himself, borrowed the image of man. Actually, Jesus being incarnate is actually the image of man no? uh, that God took no? uh, like as, as a form of a human person. So, ano nga ba ang wangis ng Diyos? Ito ba ang mukha ng Diyos? Yan ba ang mukha ng Diyos? Kapag ka nakikita natin ang bawat isa sa atin, nakikita ba natin ang mukha ng Diyos? O ang wangis ng Diyos? Can we see the image and likeness of God in us? And Jesus in the Gospel today, you know, the celebration of Pentecost Sunday, is uh, reenacting, you know, inulit you know, sa pamagitan ni Jesus ang ginawa ng Diyos no, nung maglikha, nung unang nilikha ang tao. Jesus breathed on them. Hiningahan ni Jesus. Sapagkat ang hinga na ito, this, is, this, this breath of God, is actually the Spirit of God. And this Spirit of God, which is life, no? so when you see, to breathe into, meaning to inspire, no? ay bigyan mo ng buhay. Bibigyan ko ng buhay. Bibigyan ko ng hinga o ng hininga. So that is actually what Jesus did and that is what actually God did in order for this piece of soil to have life. But not just ordinary life, but life that is coming from God. It is the life of God that is actually living in us. 
No? Kung hindi, kasi kapag ka nawala na tayo, pagka natapos na ang buhay na ito sa mundong ito, no? ang katawang tao natin ay hindi umaakyat sa langit, naiiwan dito sa lupa. Ano ang babalik sa Diyos? Yung nanggaling sa Diyos. The Spirit that God breathed into this material body that we have, itong tinatawag natin katawang lupa, no? ang buhay no? na nagpapagalaw uh, no? ng katawang lupang ito ay babalik sa Diyos. Kaya nga, what will go up to God no? is not this uh, human body, but the spirit that comes from God. But while we are here on earth, habang nabubuhay tayo sa mundong ito, huwag natin kalimutan at ito ang paalala ng Diyos sa atin, ang buhay na meron ka ay buhay na nagmula sa Diyos. And that is actually what Jesus did to the disciples and to all of us. He breathed into them. But this time, this is not just the breath of God, but the life of the Holy Spirit. God Himself, the Holy Spirit, the third person of the tri- in the Trinity. Lord Jesus breathed into them. I send you the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit will be your helper in order to guide you. Because despite the presence of God in our lives, no? kahit na nandyan tayo yung buhay na ito, na buhay na nagmula sa Diyos, no? ay hindi pa rin perfecto ang pagsasabuhay natin sa mundong ito. Nagkakamali pa rin tayo, nagkakasala, nagkakamali ng desisyon, o minsan ay talagang uh, sumusuway sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. And because of these weakness that we have, because of this kind of human aspect that we have, no? we need help. Lahat tayo, kailangan natin ng tulong. Gaano man tayo kayaman, gaano man tayo ka kalusog, gaano man tayo ka uh, katagumpay sa buhay natin, at one point in our lives, we need help. And Jesus understands that. That is why when he was about to say goodbye to his disciples, to his apostles, he said, I will send you the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, the helper. He's going to help you in what you are going to do. I will be away from you. I will be going back to my Father. But I will leave behind. I will send you no, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will be your helper. No, in all the things that you are confused, every time no, that you feel frustrated, every time that you feel persecuted, every time that you feel you are a failure, there is a guide, there is an advocate, there is a helper that is within you. I breathe into you. No? Nasa loob ng ating pagkatao ang Diyos. At ang wangis ng Diyos ay hindi ang mukhang ito, kundi ang buhay na nananatili sa atin. That spirit, that breath no, that God has put into us in order to make this human body alive no, is the image of God. Kaya nga pag tinanong tayo, ano ba ang wangis ng Diyos? It is the spirit, the life that is in me. And this life and this spirit that is in me will return back to God. At ito, no, ito yung ating pinagsisikapan no, sa mundong ito, na sa ating pagsasabuhay, no, na sana, no, ang ating espiritu, kapag ito humiwalay na sa ating katawan, no, ay magbalik sa Diyos. Kung saan siya nanggaling at kung saan siya nararapat. Kaya nga paulit-ulit ang panawagan ng ating Panginoon, no, enter the kingdom of God. Behold, the kingdom is here. Jesus preached throughout his preaching ministry about the kingdom of God. Because that is what we are going to desire. That is where we are going to go after this life we spent in this world. Life may be frustrating. Many things, no? bad things, even unfortunate things, no, will happen to us along the way. But then Jesus tells us, do not be afraid. Keep on. Because the Spirit is there to guide you, to help you, and make it through until we meet again in heaven. Let us all stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was was crucified, crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us ask the Heavenly Father to fill us with the Holy Spirit, who will aid us in our weakness and be our advocate and guide. Full of trust, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Fill the hearts of our church leaders with your Spirit, that they may discover their charisms in order to actively participate in proclaiming your truth to all. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Send your Spirit to government and civil leaders and rekindle the fire of their heart, that they may use their power and authority in the service of truth and liberation of our people from poverty. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Feel all consecrated men and women, missionaries, and workers of evangelization with your spirit, that the good news of salvation may reach the whole world and people may come to know you and your Son, Jesus. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Send your Holy Spirit to comfort the elderly, the sick, and the dying, and to give eternal life to those who have died. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community in our personal intentions. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Father in heaven, listen to your people gathered in prayer. Send us your Holy Spirit and transform us as you transformed the disciples at Pentecost through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Pour out upon these gifts the blessing of your Spirit, we pray, O Lord so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world through Christ. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through the Paschal, Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has feed, freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession. 
to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, who sun in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who sun in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now full of love and confidence, let us pray to God our Father, in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. With the body and blood of Christ, bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Please stand. May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same Spirit, whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now offer Oracio Imperata for vocations in the Archdiocese of Lingay in the Gupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingay and the Gupan. Let us all say together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocations in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. 
Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us in the celebration of the Eucharist here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Now please bow your heads and receive God's blessing. May God, the Father of light, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples', disciples minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by His blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from, the, from every evil and forbade, pervade them with his purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith. And by believing, may your journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass has been offered. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Now we shall have the prayer for the blessing and healing of our sick brothers and sisters. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all sickness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we shall have the blessing of your religious articles. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May the rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.